na mdekano resisting defeat in the essence. Gospel. He doesn't want to compromise. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. According to the news of today, coming for reliable source, Namde Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, has continued to resist defeat in DSS custody over plans to frustrate him to drop Biafra agitation by British government and their collaborators, the APC governors and their leaders. Those are called cabals. You know, some people for some time now has done everything possible in collaboration with British government to stop the gentleman from the restoration of Biafra. This was why they collaborated with some people and APC government as the election was coming closer to kidnap him. Because they do not want him to continue the champion for the restoration of Biafra. Some people can go around deceiving their gullible followers. But people like us know what is happening in this struggle. And this is why they are doing everything possible to always cause problem in our channel. But we are going to continue to do the needful. Like I've always told you, I will be the last in the history who allow myself to be used because of money or because of anything just to make sure they get rid of us and they can't go for beat. In this struggle, the only leader we know is Mazen Namdekano, and he has a structure, and that we will continue to see, and that will continue to be that way until he says otherwise. I believe in Mazen Namdekano only because he has proven himself to be the right person, the champion for this struggle. And this is more reason why I cannot go contrary to what he created, unless he says otherwise, like I said. Anybody who is going around deceiving his gullible followers in the name of sit at home in Igbo land, where every Igbo man is a chairman, you are making a very big mistake. We respected Namde Kano because he has proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he is someone to be trusted, meaning that he is tested and trusted. He did not give us a new leader Why he was kidnapped. He only left his torch behind for us. And he is still alive, breathing. So we will never allow anybody to destroy our land just to favor Bolat Nibu and the APC government who is doing everything possible to destroy Biafra struggle. The same APC government who has continued to keep him the canon communicado after court of laws has set him free. He is a gentleman, a man who is consistent and this is why he has continued to reject every damn thing offered to him as he is in the SS cause of the suffering. With the kind of interview we saw some time ago, now, we have known the reason why he was kidnapped and those who planned his kidnap. If fully they did not plan the kidnap, but they are aware of his kidnap. Mazen Namde Khan did not appoint anybody as leader, but some people are going around claiming that he, they were appointed as leader. This is what, again, Someone like me will not take. I normally come out once in a blue moon to the bone light coming out from some criminals. Mount. 
and this is one of it nobody can tell you what to do apart from the can nobody can tell you what to do apart from the can because he has made a lot of sacrifice in this struggle that we should listen to him that some people are going around in our land they're collaborating with the APC government to kill our people we take care for the self does not mean that they have arrived if we want to get them in check today people like me know how to go about it and believe me men on the ground the same men on the ground who are somewhere they don't know who they are who, who know them will start to check me down get them down one after the other but i know why i'm keeping quiet what would that make me? they rant every day make noise every day why don't they even know that people are monitoring them they should be very careful our brothers and sisters should not obey someone who is busy peddling lies against our leader and the calm. Someone who has said those sort of things against him. We can now hear that some people are planning to revoke if he comes out. Those who claim that he gave them leadership to manage. Something that did not happen. I wonder how Mazen and Kahlo will give aside that leadership to manage. He never gave anybody leadership. This is what Biafran should know. And this is why we have got to tell them that they are going the wrong way. They should retrace their step before it's too late. Most of them who has made the money in different ways trying to use this struggle until Nandi Kahlo came in. The same thing is trying to repeat it to them because none of the is in DSS custody. And these are the people you are following. Selling your own future. Biafra is our future. That's the truth. But we would not allow anybody to continue to deceive our people because they are gullible. That will never happen. If you listen to everybody talking about this it at home, you will see that some of them, are, many of them are desperate. But we will teach them lesson when the time comes. I am saying today that none of our brothers should sit at home again. Until we hear Nam the Kano said it. There will not be any sit at home. He has already made us to understand that sit at home will only happen when he's going to court. And why he was here with us when he was not kidnapped. He has always called sit at home when Buhari is trying to visit Igbo land. Just to let the world know that he is not welcome. He has always called sit at home when we are doing a prayer for independent. So that people will last and enjoy. That's, is it the about remembrance of people who died in Biafra war? This is the time he calls it at home. And the day he's going to court. This we should know. And stop listening to those who are peddling lies. There is no sit at home in Biafra land anymore. You have to know this. If anybody calls himself a non government, kill anybody again our land and you investigated from now onwards i have done something that some of you will not understand and i will never see it until it starts happening all those of them who are going around killing our innocent brothers and sisters time will come when they will be going down one after the other if they don't respect themselves and for those who are planning what to do if nandikal comes out because you have already said it we are going to teach you unless you don't understand that your father and bastard of mother did not teach you. We are going to do something that is called elimination of saboteurs, both in Biafra land and in desperate 
and people will go to prison for it. It happened in a accident. Go and mark it one place. If anything goes wrong within the canon's life. And by the time we finish, most of you who are busy and talented, doing what you you have not much, you will not have much to do what you we have continued to keep quiet because of Nam the Khan and what he represents. Now that we don't know how we cause riot in this struggle, and believe me, the enemies will be one part laughing. The same thing that some of you are doing today. But we know why we have kept quiet because we believe so much in this struggle and believe so much in Nam the Khan and we have to respect him. If not, some people will not come out. To continue to do some kind of things and get away with it. You can make your money as you want in the struggle, since that's what people believe in. But people should stop killing our brothers in our land. That is unacceptable, and we will not allow that to happen. Everybody should not obey any seat at home. There is no seat at home in Biafra land anymore. Go your duties. I'm not telling you to go and vote. I will never say that because I have never done that in my life and I will never start now. But we will not continue to listen to people who are busy championing the struggle of Bola Tinibu and the APC government who has continued to detain Mazen and the Kano. Enough is enough. Anybody, no matter where you come from, telling you about it at home without you hearing it from Mazen and the Kano, don't listen to that again. Go about your businesses. Enough is enough. Time has come. When you are going to rise against those who are killing you, and we will make that possible. And after that, those of them in Europe who are doing this, we will send people to go after them. Mafias will have seen them one after the other. People are ready to go to prison. We are going to fall them if something bad continues to happen to our people in Biafra land who have suffered this struggle. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.